Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to share a few products with you from Essence and Catrice Cosmetics. So this is more of a haul video mixed with my reviews and thoughts on them because I have uh, had these products for quite a long time actually. So this is more of a collective haul. I have these products for the past, I would say almost 3-4 months and I did not buy everything together. I kind of purchased uh, over the period of time and I have not paid full price for any of these products so everything is purchased like on sale there are a lot of sales going on in Singapore like buy to get one free and stuff like that so this is the time when I kind of stock up on a products which I want to try so I thought I'll just share my thoughts on these products some of these products are quite good and I like them and some of the products did not really work out for me so I will share those uh, with you also uh, yeah, my both my daughters are at home, so there might be some disturbances along the way. So let's just say ah. <laughs> so let's just hope that we are able to do it quickly and smoothly and without much disturbance. So yeah, let's get started. So in this video, I am going to uh, talk about the products which I like first for both the brands, and then we'll go into the products which I don't really like or did not really work out for me. So yeah, without much further ado, let's get started. This is a very random top which I'm wearing and a very random jacket which I'm wearing and I also have very very minimal makeup today. I just want to share this uh, information with you. So that's why, so excuse my look today. So yeah, let's get started. I have my full box of products here. I will start with the essence ones first. So in the essence, actually I don't really have a lot of products. Uh, it's just a few things which I have purchased here and there. But as a part of this haul, whatever I have bought, majority uh, is like okay, did not really work out for me. So the few things which really worked out for me is this one. This is the uh, Essence All About Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. So this is the Nudes Eyeshadow Palette and this is how it looks. These uh, eyeshadow palettes are quite good. I have used them and these colors really are very very nicely pigmented. They are soft. They are not superbly pigmented there but they are very soft. So in this palette you have this neutral kind of shades. Let me just give you a close up. So in this palette you have this neutral shades. And these are actually really nice. They stay for a decent amount of time as well. And for the price you are paying these are really really good. Uh, I think uh, one of the best ones in the, at the drugstore. I will have all the prices in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. So yeah, if you are looking for something very affordable, something fuss free, I think these are uh, good quality ones. These are, uh, they blend easily also. So I really like the eyeshadow palette which is there. And I also like the Essence Single Eyeshadow. So I have one which says uh, All I Need. This is the shade All I Need. And this is a very very pretty shade. It looks very very nice on the eyelids. So this is one shade. And then I have this white shade which is called Rosy Flamingo 03 and this is also very pretty. This is a, like a very pretty white shade. This is good for like inner corner highlights and stuff like that. These eyeshadows are also very very smooth. They are very buttery. They are very pigmented and they look very like shimmery and there is no sh uh, glitters or anything like that but they have a nice a shimmer to them. Then for Essence, I did go ahead and purchase a few of their lip liners. So these are the lip liners which I purchased. I actually love their lip liners, these twist up ones. They are very very creamy, very pigmented. So I got a few new shades. So this is the shade Plum Cake. So it's like a mauve purpley kind of a shade. And then this is the shade A Girl's Dream. This shade is not always available so if you get a chance to get this shade a girl's dream just grab it because this is so so good I this is like my perfect lipstick shade and then I have this one which is peach beauty and I believe I have shown this previously on some video as well so since we are mentioning essence products I would like to mention this one as well this is the essence pure nude highlighter it's not really a part of the drugstore haul because this I purchased online from a reseller but during the, around the same time so this is how it looks you probably have heard about this this is a, such a beautiful highlight if you get a chance then do buy it it's a very subtle highlight if you have fair skin tone this is going to be a perfect subtle highlight on you 
and if you are close to my skin tone this is uh, going to be a little more than a subtle it will give you a very nice sheen but it's not going to be completely uh, subtle but I do love it I love it a lot I love wearing this on a day to day basis it's very very smooth it's very reflective but it's not uh, reflective in a too highlighted kind of a way it's very soft and subtle so those are actually all the essence stuff which I have bought and I have loved most of the essence stuff are in the I did not like category so I will talk about them later now let's go on to Catrice where I have a lot of things which I have loved so in Catrice also I did try out their eyeshadows uh, because I love eyeshadows so yeah this is the first one uh, this is actually quite new I got it I think last month and this is how it looks it is such a pretty eyeshadow palette so this is called uh, the Precious Copper Collection Eyeshadow Palette. So this is how it looks. It's it's all shimmer shadows. This is how it looks. Now you can see it better. So these are this has all this very nice like a uh, metally uh, metallic shades. Like you have copper, you have bronze, you have like these uh, grey tones. You have these gunmetal kind of shade. The shadow uh, consistency is also really good. These are very very soft. So here is some of the shadows. So these are really nicely pigmented and they give a very nice sheen or shine to the eyelids. I have worn this one today and you can see it's giving a very nice soft sheen. So that's what I like. So if you are someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of eyeshadows, then this is a very, very good option uh, for you. Then you can just take one or two colors and just apply it all over your eyelids. Just blend a little bit in the crease and it will be good to go. Very very nice uh, party kind of an eyeshadow palette. To go along with this, I had bought uh, this one. This one was bought long time back actually. This is their absolute matte eyeshadow palette. And this is how it looks. This is also really pretty. It has a brush as well. Not really a brush. It has a spoolie at the end and a brush this side. Not a spoolie, this is a sponge tip. So a sponge tip at the end and a brush this side. And then the shades are like this. So these are like more smoky kind of shades. And I believe this shadow palette is called something like that. Eyes Wide Matte. So this is 010 Eyes Wide Matte. And this is how it looks. I really love this uh, grey toned shadows. And these are also really good. They are not very powdery. They are nicely pigmented, at least for the price you're paying. These are very, very well pigmented. So I love to wear this one along with this to pair up these two. They do really go uh, very well together. Do check out these two ranges. I think if you like to wear eyeshadows, you would uh, like this uh, two palettes. Next, I have this uh, eyeshadow. It's a single eyeshadow and their single eyeshadows are also really, really good and this shade is like a creamy white shade this will also be really nice for all over the eyelid or inner corners this is going to be very pretty and it's the shade 8060 the beauty and the beige so this is like a creamy white shade or a beige kind of a white shade okay so continuing the haul i was i'm taking a break in between uh, just checking on my daughters what they're doing so yeah continuing the haul so the next product which i have is this one from catrice uh, this is their Prime and Fine uh, Beautifying Primer and I love this primer. This is a more of an illuminating primer. It has a little bit of like a pore minimizing quality. Not too much but I really like that it's very moisturizing. It uh, goes on really nicely on the skin. The only thing is that it's a little pinkish in hue. But yeah, on my skin tone that hue doesn't really show up that much. So that's good. If you have seen the Maybelline uh, primer, uh, which is the illuminating one it also has a pinkish hue uh, that kind of shows a lot more so that one i cannot wear on its own this one i think it is not that pinkish so i can wear it on its own but yeah to be safe i'll just wear it on the foundation but i love the primer it's very very uh, hydrating it's luminizing so yeah so the next product which i'm loving from catrice is this one which is called the eye and brow contouring so this is basically like uh, powders and it also has a highlight here so you can use it to do an eyeshadow look and do your brows also along with it but yeah these colors obviously are not going to suit my brows so i'm not going to use it for my brows but these are nice colors for a very quick eye look 
nice brown here like a very these are both are kind of cool toned browns and you have this uh, creamy beige shade and I love this highlight which is there it's very very smooth and soft this is very good for brow bone highlighting whenever I need a shimmer a brow bone highlight this is a very good product uh, this is may not be one of the most used products which I have but this is a very nice like a travel friendly kind of product if I have to travel with these sort of colors I can just take this along with me so yeah I really like the quality of this product the next product which I have is the prime and fine professional contouring palette so this is how it looks and this is a contouring palette as it says and this has a contour side and a highlight side so I uh, this I believe is the shade warm harmony 020 warm harmony so this actually is the deeper shade so that's why i got it but this uh, nowhere can uh i don't really like the contour shade of this on my skin tone it's a little a uh, grayish so this doesn't look very good on my skin tone so i can't use this it's not very warm also that i can use it as a bronzer plus it doesn't show up that well on my skin so the contour side is not uh not suited for my kind of skin tone you have if you have deeper skin tone this uh, contour is not going to suit you but this highlight is actually pretty good it's not like a very champagne -y. it has more like a goldeny champagne -y, subtle highlight i don't know how to describe this but it's a very nice subtle highlight it's not too much it doesn't give too much glow or like blinding highlight it gives a very nice soft highlight you can actually use this on your cheekbones as well i use it on my cheekbones sometimes gives a very nice smooth finish smooth highlight so i like it it's not intense so i like the highlight part of uh, i like the highlight part of it but yeah the contouring side is not that great so these are all the products which i have loved uh, from my Catrice at essence haul i will have all the prices in the bottom bar or description box below now let's go on to the products which i did not really like or did not really work out for me now these are the products which are actually pretty good there is nothing wrong with them but for some reason or the other it did not really work out for me so let me share those products with you so the first product which did not really work out for me is the essence stay all day long lasting makeup and this is the shade soft sand i will just show you the shade once just so that you have an idea so this is the shade if i blend it out it will blend like this it's actually a pretty lightweight kind of foundation yeah it's more of a foundation it's a really lightweight it blends really nicely on the skin like it do, you don't feel like you have worn a lot it's a little matte finish kind of a foundation so if you have oily skin you might really like this product but yes it did not really work out for me because it's a little uh, drying on my skin i don't really like a lot of matte kind of foundations so this one i did not really like that much and anyways the shade doesn't really match me if you're close to my skin tone go some for something which is deeper than 30 soft sand because 30 soft sand doesn't match me at all today i'm wearing this foundation but i have mixed this with milani foundation shade amber and amber is a little bit too dark for me but it has a nice yellow undertone so i mixed it with this one so now it's kind of giving me a more a more skin like finish which is not very very matte there is some dewiness to it but if i apply this one only it's it kind of looks really matte on my skin so i don't really prefer this if you have oily skin you might like this okay let's do the essence ones first because i just started with the essence foundation so the essence the next product which i did not really like is this one from uh, essence obviously and it is their shading powder and this is how it looks it's a bronzer and a highlighter so it's clearly quite evident that the bronzer is not really going to work out too well for me as in i can uh, i can build it up but it's not going to look that nice so the powder is actually pretty nice uh, i think for the price what you're paying this is pretty good the highlight is quite okay it's a subtle highlight but i don't think the highlight formula is same as the essence pure nude highlight uh, like the pure nude is very nice like very soft and very smooth this one is not like that so that's why i think both the products kind of don't work out for me if you're closer to my skin tone i think it's best to avoid this one if you have fair skin tone probably you can go and try this one 
uh, this one might work for you the next product again from essence is uh, essence sun club shimmering uh, bronzing powder and this is the shade like this and it is supposed to be for darker skin no this doesn't work on me so this is supposed to be for darker skin and this is a shade 20 suntan it is a silky shimmering bronzing powder for brunettes delivers a natural sun kiss tan perfect for darker skin types so this no it's not for darker skin types it's more for light to medium skin types this is going to look really nice if you are looking for like a shimmering bronzer it has very very tiny uh, particles of shimmer it doesn't show up uh, that much the shimmers are not going to look too shimmery it's a perfect like a more matte but mixed with a little bit of shimmer kind of a bronzer but yeah it will work only if you have like a fair to medium skin tone if you are deeper than that if you are a little bit lighter than me also uh, then this is not going to work for you so don't go in for this one I think this is the last shade so I don't think you have any essence bronzer which can work for my skin tone then I have this one from essence their satin touch blush and this is like a satin blush I really like the pattern which is there on it it's a very nice cute little blush but yeah as you can see I don't know why I have bought this uh, this is like this will not show up at all when I apply this it just looks sheen like just the color is gone just the highlight is there it looks really really bad so I am definitely going to try out a different shade because I like the formula it's really really smooth it is not like too shiny or anything it's a nice uh, satin finish blush so I do like the formula but this color is not good this color is a uh, 30 satin bronze and yeah doesn't work the satin bronze shade doesn't work on my skin tone doesn't show up at all so those are all the essence products i did not like let's go to the catrice ones so for catrice also i have a bronzer and this is the bronzer in the shade okay this bronzer is called sun glow matte bronzing powder and this is also for darker skin it says for darker skin and this is how it looks it, this is also very very pretty like uh, it has a nice uh, embossing on it and yeah the packaging is nice and everything it is uh, the shade 020 deep bronze but yes it doesn't work out for me this is supposed to be for darker skin this will work if you have light to medium skin this is not going to work if you have a darker skin hello please it's not going to work the formula is pretty nice I do really like it when I touch it on the pan when I've applied also uh, even if I build up too much, it's not going to show up that much. But whenever I apply it, I can see that it's blending out nicely. So it's a nice bronzer, but yes, it is not for my skin tone. The next product which I have is the Bouncy Blush from Catrice. So this is how it looks and it is their limited edition Zensibility Bouncy Blush. And this is the shade 01 Moment Capture. So I don't know if it is available uh, still. So this is how it looks. This is like a very weird texture. So this is like, uh, like almost bouncy. You can see, it's a, it's not even a cream blush. It feels like a cream blush. So you can see, but when you apply it, it like transforms into powder. It's a really, really interesting texture. So for that, I am quite interested in that. But yes, this, like if I swatch it now, you'll hardly see any pigmentation. There's nothing but when you apply this with a brush you can uh, see it on the skin so I think the best way to do apply this is with a brush uh, because with your fingers I don't see anything everything is just stuck to your finger so I do really like the interesting concept probably I'll try out another shade and see how it is because this shade doesn't really show up that much on my skin so I'm not able to fully think uh, whether this is a good one or not because it's quite interesting I like it so probably I'll try another shade these are not very expensive so I'll probably try another shade and see but this one definitely did not work out for me and the next product which I have is this Catrice high glow mineral highlighting powder and this is how it looks so this is like a white highlighting powder I just got this to see how the formula is I was very sure from the beginning itself that it is not going to work out for me it was not very expensive and I got it on sale so I just picked it up so this is like a white highlight if you have a very extremely fair skin tone this is going to look really really nice on you 
this is actually a pretty good product it is very smooth it is very soft i feel like it's a big product if i swatch you can see like it's very smooth it blends out really nicely it gives a very nice sheen there is no chunky glitter or anything so i really like the formula and it's unfortunate that there is no other shade in this this is the shade 010 light infusion i will see if there is any other shade like a deeper shade uh, then i will try to get it but yeah this one will, i will only recommend if you have like a very fair skin tone and the next product which i have is the catrice ultra slim eyeliner pen or the calligraph eyeliner pen and the tip is really interesting that's why i got it it is such a humongous tip this is how it looks so you can do your eyeliner the problem with this eyeliner is that it says uh, it is a blackest black the shade is blackest black and it is supposed to give you a very nice black precise eyeline and it is extra long lasting the problem is i don't think it is that black when i swatch it it hardly swatches so when i swatch it see it's not the greatest pigmentation it's not the blackest black what it is claiming to be so that's why i was a little disappointed uh, because it says it's blackest black but it's not really that great you do really have to build up i'm wearing it today uh, then on top of it i went with a kajal because i did not really find that it gave me that amazing black uh, eyeliner look so that's why i am a little disappointed uh, i have heard that catrice has a lot of uh, good eyeliners this one definitely i did not really like the calligraph eyeliner probably i'll try out another eyeliner and see if i like it they, they have a lot of eyeliners so yeah that's about it those were all the products which i have purchased from catrice and essence over the past few months and yeah you could see that some of the products i like some of them i did not really like so you really have to research a lot before buying these products they are super affordable but yeah you do have to research a bit before going ahead with your purchase so that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you're watching me for the first time i really hope that you'll consider subscribing and yeah thank you so much for watching me today do let me know if you have any video requests i am taking in requests and yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching i will see you guys really soon in my next video bye